newlydanish.com. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Let's get ready to rumble! The most frequently asked question. Okay, so this is the most frequently asked question. So this is the question that you're probably going to see again in the next test. There's about an 80% chance you're going to see it. And as you can see here, it's being asked in a slightly different way. So it's this question actually shows up in both tests. This is Melbourne Escapes Pawn, and here it is. It also shows up in Infosat's Pawn. So pay attention to this question, the three people that got this wrong. Please. You must know the answer to this question. It is the most important question. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. All right. Perfect score. No explosion yet because we have not crossed the halfway point, but you guys should keep this up and we'll get to an explosion. All right, next one. Wow. Wow! As you can see, the Melbourne Scales Pawn test is super easy if you just practice with all the previous tests. Yeah, you already know this. It's And it's also super competitive. So if you make a mistake, you're going to get kicked out of the top five. Or if you're a bit too slow. As you can see, everyone has over 3.8k. Well, except IT. All right, crit is the highest climber up, five, up three places, sorry. Question number five. Let's see how you guys do on this. All right, so two people got this wrong. Denmark was not um, invaded by the Germans in World War I. Next one. Two members of parliament from Greenland. So there's 179 members of parliament. 175 of them are from Denmark. Two are from Greenland and two are from the Faroe Islands. Uh-oh. This is going to be a weak spot. Let's see. This is the reason why it's also important to read the book because sometimes it's important to read the book because sometimes you find these types of questions. They actually add you know, two, three new questions each time. So please read the book as well. It's Falster. I'm actually surprised 25 people got this right. Round of applause. Didn't really affect the top five. Natalie P up six places. Excellent. Wow. Lona has a streak with eight correct answers in a row. That's a perfect score. Perfect score. And she's on fire. She's on fire. Next one. Uh, 
Best Alarm. Perfect score. Biri has a perfect score and... Oh my! He's on fire! Next one. We are almost at the halfway point. We've seen this before. There are 98 communes. 98 communes. Okay, this is a frequently asked question. Get it right next time for the four people that got it wrong. All right. One person got this wrong. It is illegal to hit your kids. Or to hit kids in general. So one person got this wrong. Fix it. Now you know what you don't know. IT has the highest answer streak of 11, and that's a perfect score. Oh my! He's on fire! We're at the halfway point now. Okay, one person got this wrong. So, um, the Falketing elections has the highest voter turnout. So the highest number of uh, registered voters actually come out and vote. And um, the turnout is, about, is between 80 to 90%. The second highest turnout is regional and communal elections. The, the lowest turnout is European Parliament elections. So whoever got this wrong, get it right next time. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. Cassie. Yeah, I gave you guys the answer already to this. If you guys get this right, we, we have an explosion. Let's see. All right. Well done. You guys are doing really well. Keep up the good work. And um, I think this is the second week, right? And you guys are already doing this well. Well done. Great job. Yeah, another explosion, right? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Not wave energy, it's wind energy. All right, two people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Fix it. That's an FAQ, frequently asked question. Static top five. Static top five. Three players reached an answer streak of four. Excellent. Next one. You've seen this as well today. One hundred and seventy meters above sea level. Three people got that wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Get that right. Jocelyn has a streak with 15 correct answers in a row. This is so competitive that just uh, Jocelyn has a perfect score, but she's not even in the top five. Perfect score. On to the next one. Right, so it's your criminal record. Next one. Okay, four players just hit an answer streak of nine. Uh oh. Uh oh. He lived in the 1800s. So I think it's 1805 to 1875. I'm not sure. Actually, let's check that. Um, chapter 5. Anderson. Yes, 1805 to 1875. So he was 70 years old. All right. On to the next one. 
He brought us back with a NASA streak of three. Oh my! He's on fire! Some people fell out of the top five. Katia and Yenzeman are now in. Everybody has over 16,000 points. You know the answer to this. Another explosion. Let's get another explosion tonight. All right. Okay, well done, guys. You guys are killing it. Jocelyn has the highest answer streak of 18. Perfect score. And she's on fire. She's on fire. <laughs> Right. Freedom of speech. Two people got that wrong. Get it right next time. Static top five. Static top five. KB is making a comeback with three in a row. Great job. Oh my! He's on fire! You've already seen this today. The answer is yes. Next one. Okay, so we have a special event right now. We have Ace, who is at number one. Ace has a perfect score. And Ace is on fire. So those three things qualify Ace for an explosion of their own. Well done. Okay. Moving on. Yeah. So vaccinations are free in Denmark. Damn. Who fell out? Who fell out of the top five? Mata is back to the Nazi streak of three. We've got three questions to go. So on Kierkegaard was a philosopher and he was um, also a good friend of H.C. Anderson. You can see they lived around, you know, the same time. He died quite young. He died at the age of 42. Almost half of you got, well, okay, not almost half, but 11 people got this wrong. Well. Now you know what you don't know. Plug that knowledge gap. So Kathy is now out. Luezo is the highest climb, but no, it has the highest answer streak of 23. Excellent. And is on fire. Oh my! He's on fire! Or is it a she? I'm not sure. But anyways, two questions and we're done for tonight. Nor Uland, all boy is in Nor Uland. Katia, 24 correct answers in a row. She's on fire. 
Last question. You know the answer to this. Let's get one explosion and end it on a high. Let's see. <laughs> a gun loan is from 1849. Seven people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Please get it right. This is one of the most important questions. Okay. This is um, arguably the most important event in the history of Denmark. Well, history of modern Denmark. Um, all right, that was it. Podium time. The Enzamand at number three. Katia at number two, and I think Ace at number one, yeah? All right, well done. We have Luezo and Biri, number four, five. Newlydanish.com.